Hey there. So now is the time that we talk about the complete Java developer roadmap. Okay, there are quite a few people reaching out to me and asking me, hey, like, should I take this course of yours? Should I watch uh, from this video? I'm a beginner. So there is a lot of ambiguity amongst people. Okay, there are enough resources that I have put out there uh, for students to make the decision easy. But I thought a video will also help a dedicated video, you know, because the previous video that I had uploaded on roadmap, I think there have been quite a few developments in the content and the courses that I have. So I thought this updated video is the need of the R right now. Okay, so I'm just going to keep it to the point and short. Okay, I'm going to promise that it's not going to be a super long video. Very short one. Okay, and I'll make sure that you have clarity as to which courses you should take. Now, first thing, okay, people hear about courses and they are like, oh my God, he's selling courses and all. Hold on. Okay, my courses are not at all expensive. Okay, in India, they sell for below 500 rupees and abroad, like outside, outside India, they sell for uh, below $15, like roughly in the range of $12, $13, sometimes even $10. So it depends. Pricing varies. It's controlled by Udemy. Okay, yes, so they all are hosted on Udemy and you can even get the courses for free. My paid courses for free, okay, by uh, signing up for Udemy for Business. So if you have a Udemy for Business account via your employer, then you can get these courses for free as well. So I don't charge, I don't charge like hefty amount like others do. Okay, my courses are super affordable and they are best sellers and highly rated on Udemy. Okay, you can check them out. They are top courses out there. So this is to clear the pricing point. Okay. Now let's talk about the courses that exist right now. Okay. So if you are, if you're willing to become a developer, okay, a serious Java developer, and if you have knowledge of Java, okay, then you should take this first course. Okay. Now, one thing I'll tell you, like in this entire roadmap, I'm assuming that you have knowledge of Java, but if you don't have knowledge of Java, I have this course already out there. Okay. Which is Java programming for beginners. It teaches everything you need to know about Java. And it is 63 hour course. Okay. It's also hosted on Udemy. All my courses that I'm going to talk about is, uh, are hosted on Udemy. So once you have enough knowledge of Java, like basic knowledge and object oriented programming is what you should know. So once you have that knowledge, you should, you can start with this course. This is a, uh, spring boot basics to mastery course, wherein we start talking about spring boot from the ultra basics. We, the, so this course starts from the basics of web development. That is where, from where we start the course. Okay. I'm assuming that you don't know anything about web development. You just know a little bit of Java and we start the course from there. And then we talk about spring framework. Then we slowly start getting into spring boot. And then we slowly start moving towards advanced concepts. Okay. So it's a very step-by-step -step course, which covers a lot of things. Okay. It covers uh, how you can build a uh, full grade uh, professional REST APIs. We talk about Spring Data JPA, Spring Security, JWT, and I also teach you how you can deploy your application on AWS. There are a lot of things involved over here in this course, like validations and all, which I have not spoken about, but you can take a look at the curriculum. Okay. Also, this course is a full stack course. So if you take a look at the job roles that this course prepares you for, it prepares you for junior and senior developer, senior backend developer job roles. Okay. Junior and senior backend developer job roles for Spring Boot. And you can also apply for full stack developer job roles if you're interested to go full stack. Okay. Because there are a lot of openings for full stack is what I realized. And that is why I converted this course into full stack course. Okay. Now when it comes to full stack development, we make use of react. Now you will be like, Hey, I don't know react, but how can I take this course? So react from basics to advanced is also covered over here. I'm planning to add JavaScript also, but let's see how this pans out. Okay. And, uh, and yeah, all my courses I'll mention over here receive updates every five to six months. So that is something my existing students already know and they appreciate. But if you just in case, if you don't know, I keep updating courses. Like I'm planning to add JavaScript over here now. So that's an update. Okay. If anything changes, uh, any new version comes out, I update. Okay. So this course we learn. So, so to summarize in this course, we learn from basics to advance. We learn spring boot from basics to advance. We learn spring framework as well. Okay. And we learn everything about web development and we learn by building. So in the end, you have a full stack professional e-commerce website that you have built and coded by yourself if you follow this course along and it's a massive course it's a 90 plus hour course okay so there is immense value it's right now the best seller in its category and it's trending okay so this is something that you should check out if you're beginning with spring boot this is going to help you a lot 
okay and you will also have a project so it's not like you are just learning 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 it's not like that you're also building parallel you're learning implementing learning implementing that's how this course pans out now once you are confident about spring boot this course if you take this course seriously if you study daily i'm sure i can guarantee like you will be confident with spring boot okay we cover a lot of stuff and now the step 2 once you're confident with Sp spring boot i recommend students to go for this course okay which is microservices so this course we we start making a uh, microservices project by uh, by following this uh, so we start making e-commerce project by following this microservices architecture okay and the job roles this course prepares you for is microservices developer you can start applying for back end architect job roles and you can also become devops aware since we cover kubernetes docker and all of that okay so you go one level up and uh, one level up in your career so this is the next course and this course assumes that you know spring boot so i recommend that students co should complete this course or any other course if you have any other course and if you have basic knowledge of spring boot if you know spring boot then this course is the next course to go for the microservices course okay again this is also hosted on udemy and i recently added a great section a huge section on spring security so this is also updated every now and then okay this is course number 2 then we start specializing okay we sp start specializing into important topics so once you are aware of spring boot once you are aware of microservices then spring security is one of the important uh, important you know aspects of uh, a developer so every organization out there i'll tell you the reality every organization out there wants to have secure web applications right there has they want uh, like developers to know oh or they want to know authentication flow different authentication flow how you can secure a full stack web application that is what is covered in this particular course okay now these two courses that we saw in step 1 and step 2 also cover spring security so here for e-commerce application that we have you know, like in monoliths and microservices here in these two courses we cover spring security okay but we don't go that deep as deep we'll go over here okay so you will know about spring security over here in this first two courses it's not like i'm not covering spring security and i want people to buy this course no okay spring security is covered in both these courses here in microservices course we cover spring security how you can implement spring security in microservices architecture and over here we cover how you can implement spring security when you have a front end involved in a standalone monolith application it's not a microservice architecture course because you are learning spring boot right so so these two courses cover spring security but if you want to go in ultra depth okay then that is when this course comes into play which is spring security 6 this is step number 3 okay so so the this is something that i recommend we cover things like a multi factor authentication password security jw tokens managing them all of that so if you want to specialize in spring security i recommend this course along with front end developments so front end is also covered okay so you learn end to end authentication authorization and everything okay then the next course i have is this is something that i recently launched this is a course on jpa and hibernate of course so i got i used to get a lot of queries from students wherein they were not clear on advanced gpa concepts and relationships and all and i could feel the need of a dedicated course where i could cover a lot of aspects of gpa and databases because you know enterprises they need databases you will be working with databases if you are working on a real world spring boot project right so understanding how things work under the hood you know people also get a lot of exceptions like entity uh, not found exception you might get stale object exception what are these exceptions and how can you resolve them so when you learn the behind the scenes that is what this course covers so behind the scenes so when you understand and learn behind the scenes you will know how you can manage entities how what a detached entity is and you can resolve all those errors and errors and all okay and you can gain some expertise and uh, you can level up your career okay you can be the smartest guy uh, you know when uh, you are working on database related projects in your team okay so this is uh, that course which helps you with that you can write G we cover jpql entity relationships multi database integration again i'm not saying like these two courses that i have in the beginning step 1 and step 2 these don't cover jpa we covers jpa over here you can see okay but there is one section on jpa this is an entire section on jpa or sorry not a section this is an entire course which is 14 plus hours almost like 14 15 hours we discuss just spring data jpa and hibernate so we go a lot deep 
okay going super deep is not possible in these courses because the objective is different okay uh, otherwise it will become a jpa course if i start discussing jpa in these courses right so i don't want to do that so this is the jpa course and then i have one more course that is coming in okay i'm working on it actively so it is for java spring boot reactive programming with web flux okay so i see a lot of job job openings and a lot of demand happening for reactive programming and quite a few students have also reached out to me and asked me uh, if i have a course on the same so i think it's really important it prepares you for reactive java developer uh, jobs okay and back end engineer for real time apps this is th these are the two job roles that uh, you fulfill if you complete this course okay so so yeah this is the entire road map that i have goes without saying all the courses come with premium support okay for for the price you are paying you know like uh, it's hardly like a couple of coffees is what you are spending in okay so uh, the courses are really cheap i believe in making education affordable okay i could have sold this at a higher price point but i have not done that okay i have made it accessible to students and learners who cannot afford okay if you cannot afford these courses like there are people who cannot even afford these courses so i appreciate that you should check out my youtube channel i publish a lot of videos that are available for free a lot of wonderful projects where and the, i have students who have learned from my youtube channel and got the jobs as well okay but if you preferred prefer structured learning okay if you prefer structured learning if you want uh, like instructor support and uh, updates lifetime updates so you these uh, these courses come with the promise of lifetime updates as well okay and uh, they are backed by udemy's 30 day money back guarantee so so that's something uh, you should consider and and yeah i hope i have been clear with this road map and i hope uh, this is pretty much clear as to which course you should take when and at what level okay i also have a dedicated page on my website over here which talks about uh, you know these uh, the, all these courses over here so you can see this is embarks.com/roadmap i'll leave the link to this in the description below okay and you can take a look over here okay uh, to all, for all these courses so you will see like step 1 why you should take this course so you should enroll if okay then microservices you should enroll if so there is some i've i've mentioned everything over here who should take this course who should not okay spring security then uh, java programming course then jpa course and uh, this is coming soon okay now along with the course you will also find the link to udemy coupon so if you click over here you will be taken to the udemy's uh, page over here which has a udemy coupon okay and you can see the price right now so this is a special sale offer that is going on right now okay i have sales frequently every now and then so you can avail this coupon but even if you don't apply this coupon it's it's not expensive okay that is something i'll tell you but right now the sale is going on so i would highly encourage you to take a look at the sale if you go to my main website which is embarks.com you will see all the courses listed there i have many courses that i have and if you want to learn about any more any course okay if you want to learn more about any course you can read more about the course like this and you can unlock the coupon for udemy over here okay all the courses are on udemy if you have a udemy for business subscription you can even make use of that to access all my courses okay that way you will get the access for free you don't have to spend anything so so that's another benefit of uh, these courses okay i hope this has been useful and uh, i hope you love this